Hey guys, this is Mad Pistol with a uh, programmable key lock again. Take two. First one I said was uh, I thought was really good, uh, considering the fact that I've that, you know I'm completely self-taught and I haven't really had any formal training in terms of redstone. Basically, everything I've had so far I've learned myself through trial and error. But anyway, um, so it's been about a year since I created that first one, and now I've taken a, I've made an attempt at creating a second one. This one is a little bit smaller uh, and a good bit faster, and also has a little bit increased functionality. This time we actually have some indicator lights here to tell us if we're doing it correctly. And then, of course, you know you got five, you got the five. Uh, no, I'm sorry, you got the ten uh, numbers zero through nine. You got the reset, and of course you have the door. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on this. We're going to choose four random numbers for those random numbers. We're going to do eight, nine, six. Two. I just pulled those completely out of my butt. Let's see what happens. So, 8, number comes on, 9, good, 6, very good, and 2. And, alright, lights went off, door did not open. So, obviously, that was not right. Uh, 8, 9, 6, 2 is what we're looking at. So, again, like the last one, we have number banks. I wish I was good enough where I could actually do physical memory, but I am not good enough to do that. Uh, I do not know how that is done, and I'd love to learn, but, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm getting kind of, maybe I'll, at some point I'll go back to school and actually learn how to do that, or watch an online video. I, I really should, but anyway. I'm, right now I'm using old number banks where you can actually hard code the uh, number. Uh, there is no soft programming here. It is all hard coding. So eight, nine, six, two. Let's make sure it's six. that's a six. That's a two. We are good to go. Eight, nine, six, two. All right, here we go. Without trying to reveal too much of it. Again, this is slightly smaller. Not much smaller, but a little bit. So here we go. Okay, nothing's on. So here we go. Eight. Good. Nine. Very good. Six. Good. And two. All right, door opened. We just heard that. Uh, those pressure pads right there will close the door back. They are a hard reset. There we go. All right. How do we do with this again? All right. Well, just like the last time, we have number banks and we have a control logic right here. Uh, so basically, that's that's what it is. And then, of course, you've got this right here, which is basically the interpretation module, which basically takes what this thing over here is sending to this area. Now, yes, I know this looks actually bigger than the first one. I kind of did that just for simplicity's sake, just to make sure that it was easy to follow that I have 10 different digits. I know that I can make it smaller. Uh, in fact, I would probably have no problem making it about half the size of that, uh, if not less. However, uh, just do for simplicity's sake, and I'll show you why here in a sec, I chose to keep it like that. So, all right, right here. This is probably the most significant change. Uh, instead of doing a straight up and down, I actually uh, split it into sections of five. So one set of five on the left, one set of five on the right. Uh, and I did that just to make it a little bit less tall, because the last one was crazy tall. Uh, and then, of course, you know, you still got the same thing as last time. You've got one, you know, if you get the, if you get the correct number, it, it, go, it sorts it as a true, and it sends it down here. And then, last time, if, you, if it uh, did a false, in other words, it was a wrong number, it would reset the entire sequence immediately. And, I, you know, about a month after I did that, I was like, well, that's cool, because you know whenever you get it wrong, but it's not cool because you know exactly when you get a number wrong immediately. That's not good. So, now I was like, well, why don't I make it so that you have to guess all four numbers before you know if you got it right or wrong because then at that point guess and check doesn't work anymore you have to guess the you have to you have to get the exact number and permutations of that are 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 uh, let's see I'm not good at math that's 10,000 different combinations at least yeah 10,000 combinations good luck um, okay, so um, 10,000 different combinations uh, possible on this, and uh, you know, so you're, you're going to be trying for a while, that's for sure. But anyway, alright, so enough of that. 
let's see um, and and you know if I'm wrong on that correct me in, in the comments please because uh, meth was never my strong point alright so how do I make this more compact well first of all is through this I actually stack the uh, I stack the lines so there's five lines on each side five lines on this side five lines on this side now what's cool about this though is I found a way to actually make it so that the lines do not interact with each other but there is a crossover which is this little blue wool uh, stack right here that's the crossover and actually right you know right there that blue stack um, there's another crossover right there. What's cool about this is because you're using blocks as crossovers, they do not interact with each other. Uh, if you were to have the line going over it, um, there would be an interaction, but since there is no line going over it or under it, there is no interaction, and thus you can cross the lines as many times as you want. Cool concept, right? Now, that's not it, because I've got another, um, I've got another uh, thing that I use that's also really cool. Uh, but next thing, uh, for turning the number banks on and off, I actually have used a different sequence right here. Instead of having uh, ten different pistons moving, I actually only have two. Two on, the, two on the bottom, two on the top. One is an on, one is an off. On the bottom down here, that's going to be your on. As you can see, it moves all the pistons into place. As soon as I hit the next number, it is going to move it down, which is going to essentially turn it off. The glass is an insulator for uh, redstone. So because of that, when the glass is in place, redstone will not pass through it, essentially turning it off. Yes, very nifty. I actually did not know that until about a couple weeks ago. So, okay. So let's see what happens. So, first number we said was an 8. So, 8962. Is that right? Okay. First number is an 8. So we're going to see what happens over there. Uh, we're going to go to an 8 move quickly there we go so turn this one off turn this one on now number bank 2 is active so 9 as soon as we do that it's going to turn number bank 2 off and turn number uh, number bank 3 on 9 go there. yeah there was a little bit of lag because of the distance but uh, they happened at the same time uh, as you can see Basically, the, the line came down here and activated both of them at the very same time. Alright, and it just routes it down. Now, the next part. This is fun. Alright, we're gonna. this is the hard reset switch, and it's going to reset the sequence. So, okay. Uh, now, let's see how the first number is an 8. So we're going to press an 8, and we're going to show you what happens. Come over here now. This is the the logic part of it, which is basically the the checking sequence. Uh, all right, at the top, uh, the top sequence right here. Actually, the the top sequence and the bottom, which is right there, are identical. Uh, there's a reason for this. The top one always counts to four. No matter what happens, if you press a button, it adds a number to this. One, two, three, and then four is right here. Um, if uh, you know, if you get to the point where you get to the end of four. Uh, you have the, the redstone will be routed one of two directions. The redstone will be either routed going down this way, going down, 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 and that actually routes it back to the door, opening the door. If it is incorrect, which is what you're seeing right here, um, then uh, it will be routed this direction, and this direction is a reset sequence, which resets everything, including the number banks. So if you get it wrong, it resets it. If you get it right, it opens the door. Now down here is where the fun happens because this is your you know, true false area. Uh, basically, you get a number correct, you know, which I just did. That piston opens. I get another number correct. That the next piston uh, closes into place. Um, I'm sorry, I said open. I meant closed. Um, so closing the circuit, um, you know, and then third time closes the circuit. If you get the fourth one, it goes the entire length of the circuit changes the route of this and you get the door open. Now what happens if you don't get it right? Well that's the fun part. Let's go show you what happens when I don't get it right. See how number one is uh, currently closed. Now I'm going to get something incorrect. Five. That's an incorrect number. Alright so that's now in place. Let's go see what happens. Alright so as you can see this one always counts to four. So one, two. Down here one is no longer in place because I got it wrong. Number two is not in place, number three is not in place, and that's it. So, 
Next one, I'm going to do an action. I'm, I'm going to do a correct number just because I'm, I'm feeling frisky here. Uh, let's see, nine, eight, seven, six. So six is the correct number. Yes, I know I'm cheating. There you go. And you see how it did place it correct because I got one correct, but we're not down here yet. So I'm going to get one more correct number, two, and we're going to see if it resets or if it doesn't work or not. Uh, if it does work, here we go. Nope, doesn't work. Just completely reset the sequence because it was not correct. It routed it towards the reset sequence. And that's basically how it works. Um, I mean, I've, I think I've explained most of it correctly. Um, now, for the secret. How do you get it to move quicker than normal? How do you get it to respond fairly quickly? And, um, you know, how do you make it so it's not sluggish? Uh, and actually, I think the most important part is this part right here. This this part of the logic is pretty compact, considering uh, you know it's it basically a counting machine. Uh, it's pretty compact. Uh, you, you can't make it much more compact than that. Um, you can, but I really don't want to try. Okay, um, and I only think I think very well uh, horizontally, not vertically. All right, down here, uh, tick pulse generator (TPG). That's what basically what this is called. You can use either a switch, a button, or a pressure pad. Doesn't matter which, they all work. How does this work? Very simple. Press it. One tick. One tick of redstone. That's it. That's how it works. One tick of redstone. And I've got I've got several of these littered throughout to make sure that you know, even though the buttons last, button presses last for a long time, you're still only getting one tick of red of redstone. So that way, when it comes down here, the response is very quick. I don't have to loosen the timings. I can make the timings very tight, and therefore the response is very quick. The only thing I basically have to to wait for is for the signal to get back over here to where it to to the um to the actual indicator lights. That's all I have to wait for. Um, because this over here responds in about half the time it takes for it to get back over here, and really those indicator lights are just in place, basically to say that you know the next sequence or the next uh, button is ready. That's how it works. All right, one more time on the demonstration of what happens when you get it right. So the number again: eight, nine, six. I'm looking over there. Two, eight, nine, six, two. All right, here we go. Going up. Eight. There's a light. Nine. There's a light. Six. Light. And two. There it is. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, uh, possible clarification on any of the items I've shown here, uh, I would love to answer your questions. Again, this is not some high level programming contraption that has memory, 4 bit inputs, and all that stuff because I'm just not that good. This is all hardwired. Uh, it is programmable, albeit it is very simply. It's it's programmed very simply. Um, there is no special type of memory or any type of computer uh, stuff. I wish there was, and I hope to learn that someday. But until then, uh, that's about it. This is Mad Pistol. Thanks for watching.